Welcome here, everybody. Uh, so listen, it's been a minute since we've done a Rocksmith piano stuff. I'm going to be honest, I was having a very hard time with it. Uh, you guys know I'm pretty good at guitar. I'm pretty good at playing Rocksmith guitar. But it was actually frustrating for me to try and play Rocksmith piano on stream. I think the, the problem was I just forget the frustration of learning an instrument from scratch because the last time I did that was with guitar. But yeah, everybody, if you're interested in trying Rocksmith Plus, I do have a commission link now. If this is on YouTube, I'll have a link down below. You can subscribe. If you guys are still playing 2014, I think you're still happy playing 2014. You know, there should be no pressure to check out Rocksmith Plus. And the stuff that we're showing here today, you know, the piano update. You no, know, this is all just because I make a living doing Rocksmith stuff, all right? I'm not doing this to try and trick people into subscribing. If you don't want to, don't do it, okay? If you don't want to play Rocksmith Plus, don't do it. Okay, so uh, today's the big update, everybody. December 5th, uh, I guess notable updates today is that they've added the full release of the piano. So everything we've done piano related before was beta. But today, uh, I, from what I understand, is the full release of the piano content update. I wanted to check if changing your instrument would change your difficulty setting. I don't know if anybody from Ubisoft is watching right now. Please, we need to get this fixed. You need to have separate difficulty for separate instruments. Me as somebody who plays Rocksmith, super giga expert on guitar, my game should not default to super uber lord when I switch to piano because I am the exact opposite. Now, here's the thing. I look to the future and I imagine Rocksmith Plus adding more instruments, drums, contra bassoon, oboe, you know, we just need to have separate difficulties, separate levels, if you will, separate sight reading levels for each of these instruments. The second thing that I wanted to look is that they haven't changed this at all. I think when you're adding 170 tracks per update, this style of song selection just this doesn't work anymore. Like, I think this is like this style looks a lot better, but it's still quite tricky to get all the information you want. Does the menu even in, does it in, even indicate stuff I've played before? You know, nowhere does it indicate that I've played the song before. And I know some people like to play Rocksmith like that. If you think of like, if you think of the old Guitar Hero style where it's like, all right, what songs have I not played? You know, you just want to kind of go through and play stuff. I would suggest you have your song here and then like uh, played yes or no check mark or like a percentage mastery score, just like Rocksmith 2014, where you have your mastery score listed on the side. I guess another big thing is that they added so much cold play. Like this is pretty, this is pretty ridiculous. You, you have to admit, I know a lot of people discount Coldplay. They say they're annoying. They say they suck, whatever. Arguably one of the most popular bands, you know, in the last couple of years. So getting that amount of Coldplay stuff, to me, that looks like a big ad, like a big addition. Like that's a heavy hitter for some people to get people into Rocksmith Plus. How is your keyboard connected to your desk? Okay, so I'm using just a USB MIDI cable. Oh, actually, that's another let's that's another update that there was, right? Let's check that out first. So maybe it looks like it's not there yet, but from what I understand, they are there's supposed to be an option to connect not with USB MIDI. Squirrely Ninja, it's MIDI cable on PC still, but phone tablet now supports using built-in microphone. All right, Squirrely Ninja. Squirrely Ninja knows. All right. Yeah, in the future we're gonna have more connection methods. More options to play. Rocksmith 2014, you know, a lot of people still swear by it, but it was very limited in how you play. Rocksmith Plus, if you want to play. You have the real tone cable connection. You have the interface connection, which is currently broken, apparently, but they're going to fix it. You have the mobile one where you like you use the phone app to put in front of your amp and that detects your notes. And then you also could play on mobile. You could use real tone cable on your mobile. You could use the built in phone microphone on your mobile. You know, if you're making a guitar learning software, accessibility for a wide variety of players is an important thing. Oh, God. My left hand's not doing anything. My like spatial sense of how far away the keys are is really bad, you know? Because in the game, it looks like, you know, a jump that is like here to here in the game, to me, it looks like it should be like here to there. Oh my God, my hands have to do two different things at once. I can't. Practice makes perfect. This game has sheet music. They just, yeah, they just added it. What are these hieroglyphics? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. This might as well just be alien stuff because I can't read sheet music at all. 
Okay, so it looks like if you do pull up, if you do pull up the sheet music, you can riff repeat using the sheet music. Oh, so look, yeah, you could do it so. You can set it so it only goes to the next note if you actually hit the note itself. So yeah, my question was, does sheet music work with the, with the riff repeater? And it looks like we do have functionality here. When you're playing guitar in Rocksmith Plus, you can have the chart and the tabs. You can't have sheet music and the actual Rocksmith chart. It could, it would be nice to have both. I, I would say, you know, like a lot of people, we do have big monitors, you know, so I think, uh, I don't know if anybody from Ubisoft is listening. I think it would be nice to have sheet music as long also with the Rocksmith tab. On the other hand, people want full screen tab mode and the Reddit leaker said that's coming next year. Wait, am I in trouble for mentioning the Reddit leaker? Okay, so we have, we've talked about the settings. We've talked about how I still want difficulty settings for different instruments. We looked at the sheet music setting, talked about the riff repeater. Uh, we talked about how there is upcoming different connection modes for piano, not just MIDI. So maybe just to close, we, you know, we were going through the piano updates. Uh, today was the full release of the piano addition to Rocksmith. They showed up with a lot of tracks, everybody. You have the simple charts, like the one I just played there, that was a simplified chart, so a little bit easier for somebody like me who's beginning to get into it. I do not have experience with piano. I know there's a lot of other piano learning softwares out there. So really what it comes down to is, you know, how does it compare? Are the features there? Like I said, I am not familiar with piano, so I am not a worthy, you know, I cannot give a worthy review of how it stacks up against those. But if you look at it from somebody like me who plays Rocksmith guitar all the time in Rocksmith Plus, is the piano update cool to have on top of what you're already getting? I think it's pretty cool. Another instrument, well, that's something that Rocksmith 2014 will never have, cannot have. So is this a worthy addition to help justify that monthly price? And I think it is. So I know a lot of people out there still don't think the song library is, is there. And, you know, I still kind of agree. Our tone designer is not there. You know, no mini games, no multiplayer. We're still missing a lot of things that I thought brought the heart and soul to Rocksmith 2014. Rocksmith 2014 was a game built around guitar playing. I think Rocksmith Plus, they're trying to get away from the game. It's it's more like it's a software. And I feel like the things that kind of gamified, you know, the Castle Cordred, Scale Warriors, all that stuff, you know, that stuff is gone. And I, 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 I really lament that, that stuff that's missing because Rocksmith 2014 had a certain style about it. It looked like a game, so it made it approachable. I feel like Rocksmith Plus is still lacking that approachability, the way it looks, like a gamified standpoint. I'm sure they have the data. Maybe a lot of people weren't playing those. I don't know. It just doesn't feel complete yet. I will say, though, I'm going to say this. If the subscription price of Rocksmith Plus goes up, I think it's game over. And I don't know if people from Ubisoft are listening. If you raise the price of this subscription, it is done because you are still playing catch up. I think if you make that price go up within the next, I'm going to say even like three years, it's it's over. Yeah, we're still catching up. We're still catching up. That's the way I feel. I don't know if you guys agree, disagree with me. Maybe I'm being overly harsh. Maybe Ubisoft is mad at me because I am. <laughs> but no, that's the thing, everybody. Like, I will always speak how I feel.